What's up guys, JV2017 here bringing you another Destiny Tips and Tricks video and today we're looking at the incredibly sexy Bad Juju Exotic Pulse Rifle. I'm going to show you step by step how to acquire this gun. Please note that this video is for people that already have the exotic weapon bounty for the Bad Juju called Tolan's Legacy. If you don't have that bounty, you have to keep turning in bounties and cross your fingers that Tolan's Legacy shows up as an exotic bounty and choose it as an option. So, step one is to complete a weekly heroic or nightfall strike. The easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to just do the weekly heroic. It's level 22, it's very simple. If you just grab a few buddies, you can get it done in like 30 minutes. So step two is to complete 25 strikes. That is a ton of strikes, it's a lot of strikes. And the easiest way to do this is just to do Devil's Lair over and over and over. It sounds incredibly boring, but if you want to get this done as quickly as possible, then I suggest doing that. Step three is to bring the black market coin to Zur. Now normally I wouldn't, you know, signify this as an individual step. However, Zur is the agent of the nine that only shows up between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. He's there from Friday morning to Sunday morning. And so you have to wait for him if you get this exotic weapon bounty earlier in the week. You have to wait for him until he's actually there in order to complete step three. Step four is to obtain 10,000 points in the Crucible. Now, it doesn't tell you exactly how you gain these points. However, I know. So Toland, the guy that's involved in Toland's Legacy and the Bad Juju Rifle, he was a warlock, so you get 75 points towards 10,000 points every time you get a kill or an assist on an enemy warlock. And you only get 25 every time you get a kill or an assist towards an enemy titan or an enemy hunter. So let's dive in and look at the stats of the Bad Juju. It has a very high rate of fire, low impact, okay range, stability, and reload. The thing to know is it has a kind of a small magazine at 15. It can be fired in full auto mode, so it bursts in three rounds. However, you can just hold down the trigger. And then of course, it's got the you know typical ballistics uh, you know barrel changes. It looks awesome, by the way. I'm sure you guys already noticed that. You get increased accuracy while hip firing. Of course, it's got all of the damage upgrades thing that you can upgrade into. The big thing about it is it has the string of curses, which gives you a chance to instantly reload and deal extra damage, which is just awesome. So that's pretty much the gist of the weapon. I hope you guys learned something new in this video, and if you did, please remember to click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's your number one destination for Destiny content. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace!